Yo, what's going on guys? I feel like it's been a minute. So today we're gonna have a fun little video. A few things I want to do. One, I'm actually filming on the Sony FX3. So I wanna kinda test this thing out and see how it's looking. Another thing, I wanna kinda show you guys around the new office a little bit. And then also, somehow I've accumulated an entire mountain of things to unbox. A lot of things related to the YouTube channel because who doesn't love a good unboxing? So before we knock out all that stuff, we gotta get this day started right. And you guys know what that means. a grande uh, sweet cream vanilla cold brew. You guys know the vibes. So had to hit up Starbucks, of course, uh, for the first vlog on the new camera, which by the way, um, I've been loving this thing so far. Uh, just to kind of tell you guys what my setup is currently, uh, I'm on the Sony FX3. I have the 16 to 35 G Master, the 2.8. It's an awesome lens. Uh, the mic I have on right now, I have the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. And yeah, that's pretty much the setup. I'm shooting in S Cine Tone. I kind of just wanted to try it out. Uh, I usually always shoot in log, but I kind of wanted to see what all this hype about S Cine Tone was because I haven't used it. So you guys let me know in the comments below how it is looking. But yeah, so far I'm really liking the camera. The eye detection, the autofocus seems really good. Even with a hat on, even with not much light. Um, let me open this up. But yeah, the dynamic range looks pretty good still. Now I know some people might be wondering why I decided to pick up the FX3 when I had the Canon R5. I think I'm gonna make a whole dedicated video to that. But in today, I really just kind of want to test this thing out. You guys let me know in the comments below how uh, the footage is looking on the FX3 and with the S Cine Tone. Uh, no, I don't need it. Thank you. You already know. All right, so got the sweet cream vanilla cold brew. This has been the go-to, but I gotta be honest, I've cut back a lot on my Starbucks intake. I'm sure you guys don't believe me, but this thing is really good. Quick taste test. Mmm. I'm gonna go with a 9.23 out of 10. And then also, I picked up an iced matcha latte for the girlfriend because guys out there, you know, if you ask your girl if she wants something and she says no, she still wants something, okay? So iced matcha for the girlfriend. If you know, you know. All right, so before we get any further in today's video, I figured I would kind of show you guys around the office a little bit. This is by no means an office tour. Of course, I will be doing an update one of those at some point. So let's just start over here on this side. So this is obviously kind of the main backdrop. You guys are familiar with a lot of these things from some of my previous offices. Um, I love these shelves from Ikea, so I had to bring them back. I'm still figuring out what all I wanna put on the shelves. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Should I add a little bit more of the sneaker collection? out here should i switch it up a little bit let me know your guys's thoughts i had to bring back the kobe poster of course um the office i love the office there's no way i'm not gonna have my off whites on display we got the fx3 box which whew, this thing has been sick so far and then you guys already know the mini fridge is an absolute must in my office which actually if you guys haven't seen these yet i got a lot of questions about these if i can get one out when i posted a photo of one on Instagram, which you guys aren't following me over on Instagram, what are you doing? But Peter McKinnon and James Coffey put out their own uh, snap chilled cold brew, and it is so good. So if you like coffee, highly suggest these things are killer. But I don't think I need any more coffee right now. This is the large pile of things we're gonna go through here in a second. This down here, you guys haven't met her yet. This is Daphne, say hi Daphne. Um, she really enjoys being in the office while I'm working. And then this is the main desk. So I switched things up from my last place. Obviously here in this office, I have more room than in my previous one. So I really kind of wanted to make it usable for myself for YouTube from working from home and just a place I really enjoy working in. And of course, we'll have an updated desk set up and all that kind of stuff at some point. Of course, I have my accessories from Grove Made, which I love. Look at this thing right here, the Canon R5. Whew. Still have it for uh, the time being. More on that in a future video. And then the actual desk itself, um, these are butcher block countertops from Home Depot. Again, I'll probably be covering all this stuff in a future video, but I wanted an L-shaped desk. A lot of times I'll be sitting in this chair looking that way when I'm working right there. But then what I've actually done is if I have the chair facing this way and kind of using this as a desk, you guys will see here in a second, I actually bought a TV 
for this room to just throw up some podcasts or different things like that while I'm working, maybe watch some of my friends content on YouTube, which actually I have the box. I saved it for you guys right here. It's just like a Vizio 40 inch. This thing wasn't too expensive at all, but it's really nice. It's a 4K TV. I picked this up actually funny enough from Costco. And that's honestly kind of the dream for me. So I can sit here, give you guys a little first person view. I got my work set up right here. Then maybe I pull off my MacBook or my iPad. I'm working right here. And then I got um, a TV, which we're gonna mount up on the wall and I can watch something. So it's not a crazy big TV. I didn't need anything huge for in here. And I think it's actually gonna work out perfect. Now you guys probably saw over here, some of these uh, cords are just going to my lights that I move around the office. So it's hard to keep that clean, honestly. As I mentioned in my last office tour, I don't use my gaming PC way too much but I still wanted to have it here in my office. So I actually decided to just get a really cheap little Ikea desk, but it kind of just fits perfectly over here in this corner. And it's just a cool place to kind of unwind in the evenings. I want to play some Call of Duty, stuff like that with friends. Um, and even if someone else wanted to come in here and they can bring their laptop, hook it up, and they can get some work done in here as well. In there, I'm not gonna show you guys, but that is just another bathroom of our little town home here. Um, and then a closet back behind that for just storage, clothes, all that kind of stuff. Okay, let's see. Does that look good about there? Let's unbox some stuff, shall we? All right, first things first, we just have the TV wall mount, which we're gonna mount that TV up on the wall here in a minute. This next one, I cheated. I actually already opened it because I'm using it right this second. It is actually the new SD card that I needed for the FX3. Uh, in case you guys are wondering, this is the Lexar Professional. It is the V90. I got the 128 gig. Um, I'll have it linked down below if you guys wanna check it out. Oh no, I feel like you guys are actually crooked this entire time. Hang on. Okay, is that better? Looks a little bit better. New SD card, not a fun purchase. Things that aren't fun to buy. Batteries, memory cards, tripods, probably some other things, but never fun purchases. All right, these two are actually fun. We got our AirTag in. It's not just any AirTag. You guys should have seen this coming. Had to get it engraved right there. Uh, Jayhawk was too long, so I had to get rid of the A. This will probably be incorporated in some sort of a video here soon. And then this just goes along with that. But basically this is just a air tag holder. It's basically like a keychain ring. All right, so the next one I actually cheated as well. It's so hard being, not so hard being a YouTuber, that sounds stupid, but it's so hard shooting stuff for YouTube because a lot of things you get and then you have to wait if you want to actually show you, you know, unboxing it or something like that. Like I know a lot of people that do unboxings all the time on their channel. That has to be so hard getting something then and then waiting to actually open it up. These came in last week and I haven't used them yet, but I figured I'd show you guys. So the people over at Didi actually reached out to me and wanted to send me some stuff, which is kind of perfect because right now, uh, as I mentioned before, I'm filming on the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, which is an amazing mic. It's really, really good. But the hot shoe part of it is actually like bent. So now it's having a hard time staying in the camera and everything like that. So it's definitely time to maybe give something else a shot. So they actually sent out a couple things. One is the uh, DD Video Mic D4 Duo, uh, which actually I already have one of these and I still haven't used it yet, if I'm being honest. Um, so now I have an extra one. So maybe we'll do a giveaway uh, with this one at some point. So be sure you follow me over on Instagram because maybe I'll throw it up on my stories and do a little giveaway, something like that. Um, and then they also sent over this little uh, kit with this mic. Let me make sure I get the name of this right. It is the Video Mic D3 Pro. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty stoked to try this thing out. Um, I know some other friends that have this and they say it's actually really good. Um, and then they also threw in this shock mount handle. So I guess if you're doing some handheld stuff, um, that could be pretty nice to have it there as well. And small little detail, I figure I'll just kind of update you guys throughout this whole video, because why not? As I'm filming on the FX3 right now, I love that it has the tally lights on it, and then also has this huge red box that goes along the outside of the um, flip out screen. So it's just so obvious that you're recording, which might sound dumb, but if you do any sort of content, you know how many times sometimes you think you hit record, um, and you're actually not filming. So it's just super little handy thing right there. So we got the best for last. This is a thing that I am really excited for. If you guys know me at all on this channel, uh, you know a brand that I'm super loyal to. All right, so you guys know, or maybe if you don't, uh, I am a 
die hard Yeti fan. Like Yeti is one of my favorite brands. I just love everything from their marketing, their branding, their films that they make about their products, their photos, everything about them is what um, I enjoy about making content. This is the Tundra 45, um, and this is the brand new color that just came out for the summer. It is called King Crab Orange. Um, and then it also came with uh, just a Yeti Rambler, which I use these like every single day, seriously, for my coffee, for water all day long. And yeah, I think this color is sick. And a couple things I wanna do for the channel coming up this summer, which is why uh, I'm kind of showing you guys this in this video, is I wanna do some more things outdoors or take some trips or road trips and incorporate different vlogs or camera reviews, lens reviews, things like that. Me and my girlfriend, we love camping, we love being outdoors, hiking, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so maybe we can start kind of incorporating a little bit of that to the channel um, and yeah. This thing, it's sick. It's kind of funny, people get excited about a cooler, but uh, I'm someone that gets excited about a cooler. Uh, yeah, and if I'm gonna do anything, I'm gonna do it right. And this thing is dope. So definitely stay tuned to the channel for some pretty cool content coming this summer, that's for sure. Yeah, this thing is sick. <laughs> All right, so we got the TV mounted on the wall. We have the LifeX beam around it and then put up my uh, kind of dry erase calendar over here. Um, and yeah, this is sick, I love it. Gotta have the office playing, of course. Ooh, look, at this is a good scene right now. So now I can sit down right here, play maybe an NBA game while I'm working on some stuff in the evening. I'm not gonna lie, on this wide angle lens, this TV doesn't look that big right now, but 40 inch 4K, didn't need anything too crazy. Um, and yeah, pretty stoked on this, it looks sick. All right, guys, so that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. It's definitely been pretty fun to test out the Sony FX3 so far. As far as shooting with it goes and vlogging with it, I've absolutely loved it. The s -E tone looks awesome. I can't wait to kind of load this into the computer and see what the footage looks like. And yeah, I am stoked on how the office is coming together. At this point, I think it's pretty much done. But yeah, I've been loving this desk so far and I am stoked about this addition to the TV in here. It's gonna be a perfect thing for or if I'm having coffee in the morning or working late at night, uh, just put an NBA game up there or something like that. But guys, that's gonna be it for me in today's video. I hope you enjoyed kind of following me along and seeing a little update of my space. If you did enjoy today's video, will you please drop it a thumbs up? If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. At this point, we are getting dangerously close to 10K subscribers, which is just insane. In fact, by the time this video comes out, there's a chance we could be there. So be sure you guys are subscribed. But I think that's gonna be it for me today, guys. I'll catch you in the next one very, very soon. Peace.